Hello, hello, General Hospital Recap fans. Hello, GH fans. Uh, today's recap is for Thursday, July the 7th, Thursday, July the 7th, 2022 for General Hospital. Well, eh, my opinion today was your typical Thursday day, but not even really ramping into Cliffhanger Friday, which is tomorrow, but um, we did have, you know, some interesting interactions um, possibly. Remember that um, episode they aired that was really for General Hospital 15,000th episode that was like thrown out of the blue where, you know, people were going to try to recall Laura as mayor. Well, the honorary wrap up of that particular show was today. Uh, we had Anna and Laura and Alexis and the funny thing is, I've never seen the three of them together, but Anna, Laura, and Alexis were at the Metro Court on the outside patio, which is gorgeous, um, and they were talking, and they were congratulating Laura for, of course, you know, squashing the recall or winning the recall or whatever they did. Laura came out victorious. Um, so she, of course, thanked Alexis for allowing the platform of the invader to do her rebuttal or her, re her, her side of the story. So Laura is definitely solidified as mayor uh, for another term or until, I guess, the regular elections would come up. Um, then they had you know, typical scenes with Brooklyn talking to her father you know, about Chase, or he made her realize it is about Chase. Ugh. And then we had Chase talking to Finn and Mr. Chase. And it's so interesting. I always forget his father's name. And I also forget constantly that Chase's last name is Chase. <laughs> you know, that's what is interesting is um, Chase's last name is Chase. So goodness, where did Hamilton Finn come up, come, come in, you know, but anyway, um, so yes, they, he's talking to his father and brother, and they kind of let him know, you have it bad for Brooklyn, he's trying to say, no, there's nothing there, she's selfish, everything, oh, come on, you protest too much, you know, I protest too much, and then there was this cute girl at the pool, and um, she was staring at Harrison, we always forget his real name is Harrison Chase, but she was staring at, at Chase and flirting with him and kind of at the end, he's kind of looking over at her like, hey, you are kind of cute. But then Brooklyn shows up to the pool um, and I tell you, she's looking better than I've seen Brooklyn look in a, quite a minute. I was like, well, Brooklyn is looking awfully gorgeous and made up to go sit poolside, but you know, we'll get into their conversation probably tomorrow. And then we had Jake. Jake goes to Shady Brook to visit Elizabeth. Kevin brings him. And I tell you, Jake has grown so much. He's gotten so tall. You know, Elizabeth, all her boys are going to outgrow her, which is fine because she's, she's I think her name Rebecca, Rebecca Hurst. She is short, you know, in real life. But to see these little boys now, outgrowing their mother it's just so interesting but you know Jake was trying to see when are you coming home and she's, she's like I, I'll be there but she doesn't know really when um and of course Jake brings up grandma and grandpa he is obsessed with her parents which is letting me know he's still talking to them. They're still talking, he and her parents, because he's like, they could come and help. They could, come. and then it kind of sent Elizabeth. She didn't blow up at him, but she pretty much let him know that, you know, no, grandma and grandpa, they're, they're not an issue. They're not going to be, uh, no. And so Kevin kind of noticed her response, how she flipped a switch when the, her parents were mentioned. And so he uh, took Jake down to the car. He was going to take him home, but he said, I'm going to come back and speak to you before I leave. So he took Jake to the car, came back, and he kind of questioned Elizabeth about it. You know, 
What is it about your parents, the mention of your parents? Because he's noticed it before that kind of sends you, it's a trigger for you. And she knocks all the puzzle pieces off this table. She was working on a puzzle and like blows up. And then she's apologizing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And he's saying, I, I kind of think we need, you know, she's thinking Franco is a catalyst uh, to why she's acting the way she's acting. Of course, the sleeping pills are out of her system, but there's deeper issues. And there's always been deeper issues uh, with Elizabeth and her parents, and really, who who would why wouldn't there be? It's like she says, her parents dumped her off on her grandmother when she was a teenager, and pretty much did their own thing and never really looked back. So you know, there's they're gonna dig. I could tell Kevin is gonna dig a little deeper with Elizabeth on that front. You know, with what's going on there, and then we had conversations with. Um, Valentine and his father, I'm starting to see a different dynamic in Valentine um, where Victor is concerned. I think he was kind of beholding, if I want to use that word, when he found out Victor was his father, because remember, she thought, you know, Nikos Cassidy was his, his dad, and he was treated badly, poorly. And to have somebody that is his dad, that does treat him nicely, I think he longs for that. But if we all know, Valentine has kind of reformed himself, you know, from being, doing all of those old espionage, illegal things he used to do after he left the WSB. He's been a businessman for years now and respected and doing a very good job at it. And Victor is pulling him in this other direction that Valentine doesn't necessarily want to go down. And Valentine is trying to break away and Victor's letting him know, no, mm -mm. this is the family business and I've got a plan and you, you've got other things you're going to do for me. Um, and he had the nerve or he made the mistake in bringing up Charlotte to Valentine. Almost as if he was trying to, well, not blackmail Valentine, but it's like Valentine said, if you ever ever try to use my daughter as a pawn, I'm going to, did he say cut his throat? Slit it, end him? <laughs> he's going to kill him. Whatever words he used, he's going to kill him. And the way he was looking Victor eye to eye, Victor had to now make light of it. Well, my boy, you know, spoken like a true Cassidy. Like, we, we all threaten to kill each other around here, okay? You know, but no, no, no. I wasn't trying to use her. Valentine's like, yeah, you were. You know, no, 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 no. But I, we, we do have things, that I, things I need you to do. You know, because Valentine had told Victor that Martin, his attorney, told him that Laura was planning to have him deported, which I don't understand why Martin did that. His sister told him that in confidence. Why would you tell Valentine that when Victor is Valentine's father? I, I don't, I don't get that as to why Martin actually did that. Because I think I feel Martin is a good guy. So anyway, the that to me was the best scene. The best scene was Valentine and his father, and the dynamics we're seeing that start to brew there. Valentine may be the undoing of Victor in the end. He just might be the one that's going to make Victor disappear. Because we know Cassidines are never dead. I mean, I'm surprised Elena hasn't come back. <laughs> you know, I mean, she has come back time and time again on the soap. But, uh, you know, Cassidy, Cassidines, they always tend to come back. Look at Nicholas. So anyway, that was General Hospital for Thursday, uh, 
the 7th of July. I do want to, I have one comment I want to talk about. And this comment was from Sandy. And Sandy agreed with me where Sasha was concerned. It should have, it should have been stopped. And she was just saying that um, she, Sasha had her crying. You know, she was, I'm telling you, it was an emotional scene and it evoked or invoked a lot of emotions in people. And she liked the fact that the one playing the host or owner of the shopping network, Luna from One Life to Live, was there. No, no, Luna was the lady that owned the Swatler stuff. Yeah, uh, she was there. Um, and she did like the way Miss Woos came on in and she straightened everything out. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and of course she feels that Carly's crazy for not taking that money. I mean, she needs to just put her pride aside for that. And then we get Nina who's crying over Sasha and who saying, you know, that's like when she woke out of her coma and her baby was gone. And it then now all became all about Nina. And Sonny said, no one was there to comfort you, comfort you with that. But I'm here, I'm here to comfort you, Nina. Oh. Goodness gracious. Um, and then, you know, that's pretty much great comments. Thank you so much for um, your comments, Sandy. And then I also had a comment from this chemo beauty. Um, she said, yes, she agrees, Carly. Cut off her, no her nose to spite her face. And she was saying it's a shame that, you know, Cody came in pretty much as homeless because she actually likes the chemistry that's starting to build between Cody and Britt. She can see they're gonna be hot and heavy soon, however long that lasts. Um, and then she says, yeah, Sasha, uh, she played great in that scene. She really knows how to bring out emotions out of the viewer. Um, and she's, yeah, she did when she lost Liam. That was really, she brought out a lot of emotions when she played those scenes. And this chemo beauty says, where is Gladys when you really need her? That's what I want to know. Where is Gladys? And then let's see, I had another comment from Annette. And Annette, she feels that, Annette, <laughs> she, Annette feels that Drew is going to, blackmail Carly about knowing uh, Willow is Nina's daughter because uh, she believes Drew doesn't trust her. And I, I kind of disagree with that, Annette, because that's just not Drew's character. It never has been. You know, Drew won't blackmail Carly. I, Drew, Carly could say she's Willow's mother. <laughs> and Drew would want to believe the best in that. Yeah, he really would. That's how I feel about Drew. Um, let's see. And if Brett, oh, she brought up a point that I don't think they ever plan on bringing out in General Hospital, that if Brando ever found out that it was because of Esme, remember she blocked the door? She thought Trina was in that back room when it was really Gladys and um, Gladys and... Goodness gracious, I know her name out the back of Sasha. Goodness, Gladys and Sasha that were locked in the back room when Sasha went into labor. Um, he, she feels she would kill. <laughs> she He would kill uh, Esme, but I just really don't feel that the soap is going to bring that up. I, I don't think they're going to. So that is all the comments for today. Please, you know I love your comments. Um, please give a thumbs up to this video, subscribe, ring the bell, and at the bottom of the description bar, there is a link to the YouTube channel. Please share this link with, with your fellow GH friends that you like to talk to the soap about so that they can come on board and check out the daily recaps. Now, the daily recap for me is not watch, you know, come and watch the daily recap instead of watching the show. No, no, no. It's watch the show, come to the recap, and then kind of give your opinions too. You get to hear my opinions on the show, but I love to hear your opinions. I love to hear your opinions. So please come on and comment on the show. I will be back tomorrow for Cliffhanger Friday. Hopefully there is a cliffhanger and uh, I'll see you then.